NetDocuments is a cloud-based document and email management system. You have access to your files anywhere you have a device and an internet connection using a modern browser. Internet Explorer is no longer supported. From the NetDocuments website, click on Sign In and choose your data server location. Most firms have an automated method for logging in when you are on-site or a desktop icon for remote access. If you need to log in from another location, navigate to vault.netvoyage.com and enter your username and password. Because NetDocuments is so highly customizable, the screenshots in this recorded lesson may not exactly match your version. The home page is where you land when you log in. It is only seen by you and is completely customizable. This is the place where you can store links to your favorite workspaces and files, saved searches, and other items stored in NetDocuments. Click on a link to open an item. To return to your home page, click on the home breadcrumb at the top of the display pane or the logo in the upper left-hand corner of the window. NetDocuments provides visual cues to all items. The blue file folders represent a workspace. The magnifying glass icon indicates a saved search, and the double-headed icon is a share space. The office icons show the format of associated files, such as Word or PowerPoint. The three-headed circular icon indicates a collab space. All of these items will become familiar as you begin working in NetDocuments. Since you are the only one who sees your home page, you can determine its layout. Click on the Home drop-down and choose Edit Layout. Notice that you have the ability to grant access to your home page to another user or switch to another home page. See the print documentation with this course for more information. You can add new areas to your home page. Click in the New Section area at the bottom of the column where you want to add the section. Type a name and click on Add. Sections can be rearranged within the available three columns. Click and drag a heading to move the section. Click on Save. The Edit Layout dialog sets the placement of headings on your home page. The New category is currently empty. You can move files or other items from one location to another by dragging and dropping. To remove a heading, return to the Edit Layout page. Mouse over a heading and notice that you can either rename it or delete it by clicking on the trash can. Confirm the deletion and click on Save. The navigation bar toggle is on the left side of the window. Click on it to expand the navigation pane. The navigation pane displays all locations in NetDocuments to which you have access. If you are looking for a workspace you have recently accessed, expand the Recent Matters list. Click to open a recently accessed workspace. The workspace displays the various saved filters. If you want to go directly to a filter from the navigation pane, expand a workspace. Expand the workspace and select a filter. Workspaces and filters can be saved to your home page by clicking on the star icon. Return to the home page to see that the saved filter is displayed. If you prefer to keep the navigation pane open, click on the push pin. Favorite Matters list all workspaces that are on your home page. You can quickly access a favorite workspace no matter what you are currently displaying in the primary window. To collapse the navigation pane, click again on the push pin or use the navigation bar toggle. The Matters menu provides a shortcut to your recent and favorite matters. Hover over Matters and select one of the options. The matters are displayed in a list view. Click on a column heading to sort the list. The Favorite Matters list is now displayed by Matter Number. To locate a specific matter, click on Go to a Matter. 
Click into the Client or Matter field and begin typing a name or value to view a list of possible matches. Select an option from the list. Type into the Matter box or click on the ellipsis to view a list of matters for the selected client. Notice the categories on the left as you select a scope for your search. In this case, we are trying to locate a matter that is not in the recently selected list. Clicking on All displays all matters associated with this client. Click on the matter you want to open and click on Select. To quickly locate recent or favorite documents, mouse over the Documents menu. Hover over Recent to display your 10 most recent documents. Click on a file to open it or click on More to display your recent documents in the main window. Click on Favorite to display all documents you have starred as favorites. As with the Matters list, the results are displayed in list format for easy sorting. The Simple or Quick Search field allows you to locate files that contain specific text. Note that the search always occurs on the location indicated in the search box. Type the search term and click on the magnifying glass or press Enter. The advanced search is launched by clicking on the ellipsis to the right of the search box. As the name suggests, more advanced search criteria can be applied from this location. Searching is covered in more detail in other courses. Click on the Add button to create or upload a file into Net Documents. Indicate the type of item you want to create. Drag and drop the new document or upload it from your computer. Select a client and matter and click on OK. Complete the profile fields and click on Continue. Net Documents assigns a file number and the new file is displayed in the document list. Generally, workspaces can be displayed in one of two views, summary or list. Each has benefits, depending on what you want to do. You can toggle between the two views by clicking on the link. The same files are displayed, but with different information showing. The list view allows you to select files by clicking on the checkbox next to each name. The preview pane displays information about the selected file as well as other options for working with the file. Click on the pane toggle to open or close it. The preview pane and power bar are covered in more detail in the course on workspaces. Tab headings appear at the top of the workspaces. Click on Overview to view the workspace logo, description, and any web pages defined for the workspace. Click on the Collab Spaces tab to see a list of collaborative spaces configured for external access. Properly logging out of NetDocuments is important for security purposes. Click on your name to access the logout option.